Hi Aries, and happy birthday to those of you who have birthdays coming up or who have had a birthday. I hope you're all doing really well. And yeah, this is going to be your general love reading for April 2022. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aries. And because it's general, it means it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you'd like a personal reading, you can find all the information for those in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so let's see what is going on with Aries for April 2022. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Just had the Page of Cups show itself. So it could be that there's um, some communication concerning emotions, how somebody's feeling, or maybe somebody is wanting to express their emotions either to you or maybe you want to express your emotions to somebody else. It could even be referring to an apology. But let's see. For the situation, we have the Six of Swords crossed by the Ten of Cups. It feels like somebody is um, avoiding this connection. It could be you. It could be them. Um, even though there is there is love here or it feels like the potential for a fulfilling connection is here um, with this person, but there's a tendency to avoid it because there's some conflict. There's conflict within this connection, so it's like somebody's trying to move away from that, but let's see. For your energy, we have the Eight of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Again, the roles can be reversed, um, but what I'm seeing here is that mm, it's a pretty stressful time at the moment. I feel like there's a lot of pain. It's like um, you're feeling like there's no solution here, almost like you're trapped in whatever this connection is, like not being able to get away from the either from the intensity or just from the connection, just feeling this constant pull because it's, it's, we have the Ten of Cups here and it's, it almost feels like that's what you feel is the problem or that is the issue, that is the difficulty, the fact that you feel this um, connection with this person. And so it's making you feel trapped and at the same time there's a lot of pain associated with that. I do see you moving in a positive direction though. Um, being able to find some kind of success with this, but we are going to clarify and get more details. Let's see for them. We have the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so this is somebody who has um, a lot of love for you. So this could be why you're feeling this pull towards this person, but I do feel like you might feel the same way anyway as well towards this person. Um, there's something here though. This person is either, could be involved with a third party. This Queen of Pentacles could be somebody else. Um, for some of you, definitely not for all of you. Whatever the case though, this, this person definitely wants this connection with you. This is what they feel would would actually fulfill them. But it also comes in as, well, you know, if Aries is not really feeling it for whatever reason, and you might have very good reasons, right? This person is also trying to take care of their own self and see, you know, what it is that they want to do. But at the same time, I feel like they still have the door open for you. Let's see the potential outcome here. We have the Ten of Swords. Ooh, okay. So somebody is really feeling this pain and we'll see. We'll see. It feels like there's some kind of an ending here. Again, I don't see it as being negative for you um, because you do have the Six of Wands here. But again, we have to clarify and see what exactly is going on here. So let's start. Again, don't forget that the roles can be reversed. So let's see the Six of Swords with the Ten of Cups. All right, Temperance, so we have Sagittarius, 
the tower, ooh, and the chariot. Cancer. Um, okay, well, that's three major arcana cards clarifying the main situation here. Okay, so it feels like I mostly see this as you being the one trying to avoid this. At the same time, it also feels like this person might also be doing their own thing, okay? Um, it, I'm kind of now getting that the both of you are kind of moving away from this connection, but there's still some kind of a tie between the two of you. And it does come in as the it's the other person who's um, kind of in charge. It feels like in charge of, of holding this together. Um, This moving away from the connection, it's not, at the moment at least, okay, so not, it might not be moving away from the connection. It could just be moving away from what you feel about the connection. So it's like, it's possible to move away from the connection if that's what you feel guided to do. And I feel like it's going to be different for everybody because let's not forget, everybody's situation is different. It cannot be the exact same situation for all Aries, okay? So I have two different scenarios coming into my mind at the moment. Um, the one scenario is, yeah, somebody completely avoiding this connection for ego purposes um, or for reasons that are outside of your own self, okay? Um, and then for others, yeah, you might have really good reason to move away from the connection, but then avoiding how you feel is not going to help you heal, okay? So that's two different things. Either way, it's like you're seeking balance, like feeling like if you just move away from this, if you can just push it out of mind, um, because it, when you try to address or face this connection, it creates a lot of conflict. So it's like feeling like if you can just push it out of mind that you'll find this peace, but that doesn't happen. It creeps back up on you. And that's why we have the tower here. And not only that, we also have the chariot. It creeps back up on you like very suddenly, very fast, unexpectedly. And it can create chaos and it can actually create more conflict than the initial conflict that you felt if you were to just address this Ten of Cups. Um, by no means am I telling anybody to stay stuck in a situation. That's not what I'm saying at all, okay? If, um, if you're feeling like, you know, this is not the person for you or that this is an unhealthy situation, then of course, you know, stay away from it. But again, that's different than addressing how you feel and, you know, what this connection might be. And again, roles can be reversed. I mean, this could be, this could be your person, um, avoiding the connection. So let's see. And some of you might even be cross-watching foreign Aries. Let's see the eight of swords in your energy. The hanged man and the four of cups. So I don't know if this is in relation to this person. It could be just something else in your life that um, it's so it could be indirectly related to the person down here. Um, but it feels like there's you're feeling you're, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling stuck in a situation that you're not very happy about. Um, for some of you, this could be settling in a particular connection and for uh, and just feeling like you're stuck in it in some way. And then for others of you. Feeling like there's just, you don't know how to move away from this connection because again, it's like feeling that intensity, but not wanting to be there, but just constantly feeling this pull. And this is making you, it's like throwing you in this like spiral of even, even depression for some of you. Let's see the three of swords. Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. 
So it's interesting because at the same time, um, even though you want to move away from this, and it feels like this person is open to you. That's the thing. And, but again, you know, some of you have good reason. Um, it's still making you feel like there's either some kind of a rejection or just feeling alone, feeling like, you know, in the end that you don't have what you, what you would want. I feel like this might not be what's coming up for you. This might be the situation, okay, because time is very fluid and it's relevant. Um, this is the situation that you might be finding yourself in currently. And so because of that, you know, it has created a lot of pain and a, and a really big challenge. And I feel like this has been going on for quite some time. Again, um, I do like that we have the Six of Wands at the end of this row here. So let's see that. Let's see the Six of Wands for Aries. The Five of Wands and the Page of Swords. I don't know. I mean, I'm just really getting, I don't know how all of this ties in, but I feel like there's um, some kind of an external influence here. Um, there could be a lot of some communication from other people that's affecting this. And really what I'm getting here is, um, you know, it doesn't matter what other people think, what other people say. Um, how other people see you or see the other person involved, you know, it's none of their business, basically. It's none of their business. Um, so I don't know how that's affecting you, but I'm seeing you wanting eventually to really take control here of this situation. And yeah, you know, I'm not going to lie. It does feel like it's a difficult situation here that you're dealing with. Um, And it, I mean, this conflict could even be um, with other people. It could be from the other person's side. But it's like that is coming in and affecting you. But I see you really rising above that. All right. So let's see what's going on with this person here. Let's see the Ace of Cups. There's that Page of Cups. I knew he wanted to come out somewhere. Um, Page of Cups and the High Priestess. Yeah, this person has a lot of love for you. I feel like this person um, possibly even wants to communicate about their emotions or might even want to apologize for something. Either way, this person, I feel like they are holding back a little bit for the time being, possibly because of your energy being in the state that it is right now. But this person um, intuitively just, you know, even feels something very, very deep, something very strong with this connection. And so they're open to it, but I feel like they're taking, they're taking their time or they're being patient because of what you might be dealing with at the moment. Let's see the Nine of Cups. Judgment and the Three of Wands. Yeah, they're definitely being patient here. Um, this person has a lot of hope. They're believing that things will work out between the two of you, or at least they're, it, it could even be wishful thinking um, for some of them. It definitely could be wishful thinking. But feeling like they, there will come this day where it's like something magic will happen. That's, that's what I'm getting here. Um, definitely this could, for some of you, not all of you, be talking about forgiveness, all right? Having both the Page of Cups and Judgment show up here. Um, or they're, they're wishing, they have like this wishful thinking that, you know, they're one day in, in the near future, um, they will have the opportunity to either explain something to you, express something to you, confess something to you, or for the two of you to just have a very um, deep emotional conversation. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. 
So this person is, um, there is something that's really bugging them here about uh, this whole situation. Yeah, it's like they're, they're waiting. I feel like their intentions are actually very positive. They're very good. Um, but something is really bugging them throughout this whole this whole thing and they're really trying to find their balance. I feel like, you know, they're feeling a lot of stress about this situation, but um, again, it just feels like they're doing the best that they can to just cope with it, be patient, and just have this wishful thinking, basically, that things will work out in the end. Um, so it's interesting that we then have the Ten of Swords, so let's let's see what that's about. And do keep in mind, you know, um, future energies can be um, manipulated, so to speak, <laughs> right? Because uh, it's something that hasn't happened yet, so it's really in our control. So this is more of like a precaution, all right? Because we have the Six of Swords again, which was the very first card out, the Two of Swords and the Devil. Yeah, so this is... This is more of like a precaution or just some guidance here, okay, that by being in this Six of Swords energy where you're just avoiding, acknowledging at least, your emotions or, you know, what this connection feels like it is to you, you know, and maybe there's karma between the two of you. Maybe, you know, you've had some past lives and so there's some unresolved issues there. You can't just ignore it is the message here, okay, if this is resonating for you. Um... And for others of you, maybe this is something a lot more complex, a lot deeper, whatever the case, by avoiding the situation, right? Six of swords and the two of swords, we have the devil attached to that. And by the way, yes, this is Capricorn energy. Um, but there is something here that is just not really healthy when it comes to the way that this connection is being avoided, all right? Or the emotions attached to, to the connection. Are being avoided like that just seems to lead to a little bit more um, a continuation of the pain basically so yeah you can take that message and do whatever <laughs> you want with it all right if it does resonate um, I definitely do see this person um, wanting to figure things out wanting to express themselves emotionally so I feel like really the ball is is in your court if you are the Aries in this reading, or and if the roles are not reversed here. All right, Aries. Let's see. Final message for Aries. And we have discernment. All is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. Take that as it resonates. Um, stay true to your knowing. I definitely feel that that part of this message um, in relation to this reading. And all is not what it seems. Could be that there's something that one of you is missing here, not seeing. So yeah, that was it, Aries. Those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.